This picture quality is going to be a little bit rough tonight. I wish you had something else to look at. I'm not quite uh, put together enough to rig that up right this minute. Just wanted to talk about four pieces of equipment that uh, are very nice to have for canning. I can put my glasses back on so I can see my notes. I, uh, I should know them all by heart. They're really, really not necessary, but really, really nice to have. The Victorio strainer is basically, most of you probably know what that is already. It's basically a strainer that has a crank. The crank um, it has a spiral cone and it pushes the pulp or the puree of a vegetable like a tomato or pumpkin or whatever through the little holes in a, in a kind of a sieve and then it spits the skins and the seeds out the front so you get it all hooked up it's got a it's got a I don't know what you call it it's got a container on top where you put the whole tomatoes in you're gonna to have to cook them a little bit probably first and um, crooked glasses and turn the crank and the puree goes one way and the seeds and the skins come out the front and fall into a different bowl so that's a great thing to have it's great for applesauce and tomato juice tomato sauce tomato paste and then the second one is probably my very favorite piece of equipment and it's a steam canner the, the first one a Victorio strainer the, the Victorio I think is a brand name for it and you can find that on eBay you can probably get a cheaper version of it someplace else uh, or maybe on eBay I don't know uh, the steam canner you can get pictures of that on eBay they'll have if you just put in steam canner and if it comes up the lowest price first you're gonna have to s scroll down a little ways until you get past the canner gauges and then the steam canner will come up those are gonna run you about forty to fifty dollars the steam canner is a a reservoir at the bottom about three inches deep you put about two quarts of water in it and then on top of that it has a flat round tray with perforations in it, small holes and that will hold probably seven quarts of food that um, that you that would qualify for water bath canning not pressure canning it does not it does not replace a pressure canner it replaces a water bath canner so pickles and fruits pickle basically pickles and fruits um, you put seven jars on there and so you've only got this much water in the bottom of the reservoir then the perforated tray then the canning jars and then a big lid deep lid that's probably I don't know 10 inches deep and that you invert it and I'm not explaining this very well and put it down over the top and you, you only have to boil that little bit of water and as soon as the steam starts coming out the sides you can count the time and it saves an enormous amount of energy over um, a water bath canner the thing that doesn't make any sense to me is why you would need one to start with I love mine I have used it a lot in the past not sure why you would need it to start with because it seems to me if you put three inches of water in your water bath canner and it creates all that steam <laughs> in in there and then as soon as the steam cart steam I can't talk tonight I'm sorry as soon as the steam starts coming out from underneath the lid that you could count the time so that's you're gonna have to make that call I can't make that call but the steam canner is a great thing to have the apple peeler potato peeler thing you, you attach it to a table and it has a crank I'm not sure what you call that but they're about $25 you can find those I'm sure just about any place and then a steam juicer has the same small reservoir on the bottom like a steam canner and then the middle section of it is to collect juice it has it stacks on top of each other it's got the reservoir and then in the middle it has a hole to let the steam come up into the middle sec no that's wrong <laughs> as a hole where the steam passes up through the middle into the top chamber the second chamber in the middle holds the juice the top chamber holds the fruit the steam comes up into the top chamber bursts the skins and lets the juice start to flow into the mid chamber so then you have a little hose that comes off the mid chamber and has a clamp on the end of it so basically what you do this is the only time that I don't water bath um, products I water bath everything if it doesn't call for a steam canner except for the juice I keep really hot water in a couple of jars and I pour the hot water into an empty jar I take the hot wet jar and you just 
squeeze the clamp on the end of the tube that comes out of the middle section and that juice is really hot and it just goes right down into your jar, you wipe the top of the rim, put your lid on, put your ring band on, tighten it down, keep it out of the draft, set it aside, and let it sit for 24 hours till the, everything cools and wipe it off and put it in storage. It's the only time that I don't water bath. I follow the directions pretty closely but the juice is so hot that you really you can still water bath it for five or ten minutes. It wouldn't need much because it's freaking hot when it comes out of there. I don't like that word. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have used it. So the Victorio strainer has a crank. Separates the skins from the pulp. The steam canner has a small area at the bottom for the water. Those are going to run you about 40, 50 bucks. The apple peeler is going to be about 25 or 30. And the steam juicer, if you can get that in, it, those are going to run you about 140 unless you go for the stainless steel and then you're going to be with the shipping about 215. That's the end of this video. Enjoy. Bye. Good night.